Hi, I'm Matt, an electrical engineering student at K-State. While I was in middle and high school, I played on Scholars Bowl, which is an academic competition kind of like Jeopardy. I always wondered how the Scholars Bowl buzzer sets worked, so I decided to build one. It turns out this is a fairly simple project to put together. There are 11 inputs and 11 outputs with a microcontroller in between. This microcontroller can then be programmed to do all of the work. This programming does four main things. After you plug the buzzers in, we wait for a player to press a button. Once that button has been pressed, we light up the corresponding LED and then output the correct sound of the speaker. We then wait for somebody to press the reset button, which causes us to start this process all over again. And now let's look at how these Scholar's Bowl buzzers actually work. So we have 10 push buttons here, each one appropriately colored purple, and half of them are on the red team and half of them are on the green team. And this is the base station where that controls everything. There's a reset button right here and a speaker in the bottom of it to play sound. So when a green player buzzes in, the appropriate light turns on and the sound for the green team plays. Then we'll reset and if a red player buzzes in, a different sound plays and the red light lights up. So what happens if two buzz in at the same time? The microcontroller chooses which one buzzes first and then lights up the appropriate light. This whole project was designed from scratch using skills I picked up in my electrical engineering classes. That led to this schematic, which I used to build these buzzers. In the future, I hope to have a printed circuit board etched to replace the messy circuitry inside this controller box. Thanks for watching and go cat.